we start with the base color, which for me is green. And the first two stitches from the, the pattern that you'll see here in the corner is two stitches are the border. Then the pattern by itself is a multiple of 12 stitches. And once you are done with the two stitches here, plus 12, then, it, then you can add your next 12 stitches for the next um, RV. And then you can add as many as you want. I put five over here, but you can put more or less, or you can just do one. So your next um, RV will start for exactly from the next stitch. We start with a slip knot and then chain 12, and then we'll have three more. And those three more will count as the two side stitches, and then we have one turning chain. And then when we start crocheting backwards, We'll start with a yarn over, we'll do half double crochets till the end of the row. And then we'll repeat the first row one more time. So we'll have two rows of half double crochets before we start our next color. Once you reach the end, we chain one and we turn, and this is our turning chain. We do not work in it. We skip that chain. And then into the next chain, we start with our half double crochets till the end of the row. So when we reach the row, we chain one and we turn, and then the first two stitches show us that they're in the same color. Now we have to include our next color. We grab a loop from the working yarn, but we do not finish the stitch and we get our new color and we adding it right here. And that's it. So tighten your base color. And now we're gonna keep working and yarn over for um, half double crochet and now you can hide here your tail and the green color we're gonna leave them behind we're gonna trap them in the stitches and we'll do eight half double crochets and when you're done with your eight double crochets then we're gonna have to switch to the green color again and that's gonna be just like this we'll yarn over to make the half double crochet we'll pull our loop but we'll not finish that half double crochet we're gonna drop the orange we're gonna pick the green and we're gonna finish that stitch with the green color and then the pattern tells us do four more or whatever that row comes up to stitches and then that dropped orange color is gonna stay here and next time when we come back we're gonna do exactly the same thing and this is how you change colors when you have to work with different colors and this is how we keep working till the end of the little pattern here once you're done with your pattern you're gonna have that tail here sitting down do not cut it short but leave it so you can do those slip stitches all around your work and this is very easy you're gonna hold your yarn from the bottom of your work and you're just gonna draw a loop and you'll insert your hook again and you're gonna draw a new loop and you'll insert your hook again and you're gonna draw a new loop from under the stitches and you're going to follow your colors and when you reach to the next color you just switch to the next color the little window you'll have to do again with that yarn coming from the bottom and this is how it looks on the back so from starting from two stitches inwards from the side if you work two stitches and then two rows up and two stitches till we make a little square so here we do a slip stitch we do a slip stitch this way and that's how we're gonna make the little corners. So the door is, I used a three-weight yarn. For the rest of the work, I used a four-weight yarn over here. But for the little pieces, I'm using a three-weight yarn and a three millimeters crochet hook as well. For the wheels, I can use buttons or I can crochet 10 single crochets with a thick yarn for a little wheel. And of course, that little piece that you hang your RV to your car. So um, that's how we're going to go with that little panel here. For the backdrop of the calendar, I'm using half double crochets and I started with 53 the chains and I got 52 stitches and then one chain was a turning chain and then working back and forth the length I would like when I'm done with the length I will add my panel of little RVs on top and the little pockets will be sewn on the panel and let's see how we'll do the pockets 
here are my little pockets. I left a longer tail when I was done with them so I can saw them and separate the pockets from each other, but they'll be connected at the beginning. Let's get started. Each pocket is made of eight stitches. So we're going to start with chain first. The foundation chain will start with a slip knot, of course, and then we'll chain seven. Three four, five, six, seven. And then the eight is still not formed, but it's sitting here. So I'm going to grab my next color. So at this point, I have the next color started, but my eight is right here, eight orange. So I'm going to start again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And before I do my eight stitch, I'm going to include my next color. Then I'll count again, eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'm going to go back now and do my pockets. I'm going to do one more. So actually the last color will have nine stitches. That one more is our turning chain. We do not count it as part of the stitches because we're going to skip it. So starting into the second chain from the hook, yarn over and do a half double crochet and do your half double crochets till the new color comes up. So here I am. My next color is ready to be added. So I'm dropping my old color and I'm picking the new color. I have three loops on my hook because I did not finish my half double crochet with the same color. So now I'm using the next color. And make sure you do not miss that first chain you have here. It's so easy to skip it, but that counts as well. So count that one and do eight half double crochets with your new color. And then it's time to switch to the next color. And then again, I'll drop my old color and I'll pick the new. And we are going into that last pocket. So now here we are. We're going to be pulling those and tightening them just enough, but not too much. You don't want them to bunch too much. So right here, I'm going to be trapping my tail on this side just lightly. You can weave them in at this point and once you come back you'll be trapping that tail there. So turn here and you have a, if you haven't done your turning chain do it now and now working again with half double crochets into that first stitch into that first opening you have here. Do your half double crochets till the new color comes and then we do the same thing. We are switching to the new color and uh, my pockets are five rows tall. And if you want to make them taller, you can make them taller, of course. You can make those pockets the colors you want, the colors you have. So make sure you subscribe. You can hang your calendar and attach all the hardware to it. I got some stickers with some numbers from the dollar store. And you can also use your felt that you have at home or you can embroider the numbers. There's also one more pocket all right over here for number 25. And here are all the pockets. I hope this tutorial inspired you to create your own. Subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you in the next tutorial.